Before studying about Ohm's law, we need to know who Ohm is. Ohm, or George Simon Ohm, was born on 16th March 1789 to a blacksmith. At an early age, he fell in love with maths and physics. He worked as a teacher in a university, simultaneously working on his experiments and writing proofs for his theories. This is the time when he discovered Ohm's law. Ohm's law first appeared in a famous book called Galvanish Circuit Investigated Mathematically. In this book, he explained all about electricity. He also explained about resistance, current and the electromotive force he observed. Ohm's law tells us nothing but just three things. I is directly proportional to V, V equals I into R and the ratio between the potential difference and current is a constant or V by I is a constant. This constant Ohm called as resistance R which we will talk about in the later part of this video. Experimenting Ohm's Law to, ex to make an experiment, we need a circuit. To make a circuit, we need some components. So, the components required for this circuit are ammeter, voltmeter, rheostat, variable battery, switch and some connecting wires. The aim of this experiment is to prove the ratio between V and I, that is potential difference and current is a constant. Then the Ohm's law get verified. An alternative method to prove this experiment is draw a graph between the values of V and I and if you get a straight line, even then the Ohm's law is verified. Now with all the components that we have discussed, let's build a circuit. If you build a circuit, it would just look like this one. Now let us do something curious. Let's increase the voltage in the variable battery step by step. And in each step, let us uh, record our observation. Let us measure the current in the ammeter and the voltage in the voltmeter and record our observation in this table. So, if the voltage was let's say um, 3 volts and the current would be 0.4 amps. And the second observation, let's say the voltage was just 6 volts. And the current would be 0.8 amps. And in the third observation, let's say the voltage is um, 9 volts. And the current would be 1.2 amps. And uh, in the fourth and the final observation, let's say the voltage is... Uh, 12 volts and the current would be let's say let's say the current would be 1.6 amps okay now to verify Ohm's law we have to find the ratio between the voltage and current so let us calculate the ratio between the voltage and the current for these values what do we get we get a constant 7.5 this is the resistance that ohm said we will talk about this in the in a couple of a couple of minutes so the second method to verify ohm's law is by drawing a graph as i discussed in the video so let us draw a graph for these values and join the points we notice that we get a straight line this tells us that this also tells us that the r is a constant value the slope of this graph is r the resistance so the this graph tells us that the v by i ratio is a constant one as we get a straight line this straight line passes through the origin now that we have discussed ohm's law let us move on to resistance The opposition a current experience is termed as resistance. According to Ohm's law, resistance is given by R equals V by I. Now the resistance varies uh, from the type of the circuit the current is in. For example, if we take a series circuit, the resistance is given by 
R S is equals to R one plus R two plus R three and so on. If you take a parallel circuit, the resistance R the resistance is given by one by R P is equals to one by R one plus one by R two plus one by R three and so on. The S I unit for resistance is ohm. In the remembrance of the great scientist who had started all these, and the uh, the symbol for resistance is upper case greek letter omega thanks for watching i hope you got a clear understanding on ohm's law and resistance after watching my video thank you